Hey guys, good morning, good morning, welcome, welcome, welcome to another live session of Stock Sniper Trading. My name is Dave, guys, my partner is Ron. Let's get down to business here, guys. Jumping in on US 30, sell, okay? I'm jumping in. That, guys, that's a 100 pip drop. Guys, yes, we caught it. Hey, guys, 200 pips, please, secure. <laughs> Trading with a perfect broker is the key, which takes you one step ahead. At AFX, we have you covered. The future of Forex is Zero Commission Here at AFX, we offer ultra-low commission, which starts at 99 cents per lot. Our accounts spreads start from 0.0 pips. With account leverage up to 500x, and can have a minimum deposit of $100, with an additional 100% deposit bonus, regulated by HEMC Greece, compliant with ESMA. EU, regulated with FSEA, South Africa. Nothing to lose, but something to gain. Trade with the world's most liquid market provider, AFX, recommended by Stock Sniper Trading. To get started use the affiliate link below. As a trader, we all look for tight or low spreads, which helps us to get in and out of the market. Using the right broker can help us try different strategies. With multiple options of brokers on the web, here at Stock Sniper Trading, we have a recommended broker, that is, Hanko Trade. With spreads as low as 0 pips and leverage up to 500x, Hanko Trade is just one click away. With multiple account types to choose from, you also have a minimum deposit of $10. Using Hanko Trade's affiliate program, refer a friend and earn up to a 40% commission on trading volume. Built by traders, for traders. Hanko Trade. Welcome to Stock Sniper Trading. In today's tutorial, we will be going over the exponential moving average, the EMA, which is another main chart technical indicator. The exponential moving average or EMA can be selected on your trading platform and it will be it will be on your main chart with your price action candlestick bars and on, you can select different time periods. In these particular examples, we have the 9, 50, and 200. On the left, we have the nine day EMA, which is a more of a volatile because it's price action is moving on the last nine periods. So you can see that the, the EMA, the yellow line, really moves with the price action. It's faster because it's a shorter time frame and when price action is below the 9 EMA it is bearish and when price action is above the 9 EMA it is bullish and on the right we have the 50 EMA which is more of a uh, in between short term and long term and you can see that the yellow line is more it moves but it's a more smoother than the 9 EMA this is used for higher time frame trading. And you can see also when price action is below the 50 EMA, it is bearish. And when it is above it, it is bullish. And finally, on the bottom, we have more of a longer period exponential moving average. We have the 200 day. And you can see that the yellow line is basically just moving sideways because it is on a higher time frame. This is more for longer time frame to give you uh, a particular um, understanding of price action whether it is bullish or bearish on a on a longer time frame and in this example when price action is below the 200 day it is in a bearish trend and once price action gets above the 200 day it is in a bullish trend An exponential moving average, EMA, is another widely used moving average that places a greater significance on the most recent price points. An EMA reacts more significantly to recent price changes than the 
SMA, the simple moving average, and is used more with short-term traders. An EMA is a technical indicator, like all moving averages used for entry and exit signals based on crossovers from the historical average. Traders often use several different EMA lengths, such as the 10-day, 50-day, or the 200-day. With all of these moving averages, the calculations are already selected in your charts under indicators. You just select which one is more suitable for your trading style. The EMA also has similar drawbacks as the SMA and suffers from the lagging historical price and may create a bias that leads to more false alarms. This is why you want to combine this with your candlestick analysis as trading candlesticks is real-time price action and these can be used to, uh, um, to give you um, crossovers, bullish or bearish to help you understand when you're in a trade if the bearish or bullish momentum will continue. On the left in this illustration we have the yellow line which is our nine day EMA and the green line is a 200 day EMA and the blue line is our 50 day EMA. We can see um, when price action is below the 200 day it is bearish and when price action is below the 50 it is bearish and when price action is below the 9 EMA it is bearish. As price bars now get above the 9 EMA it is starting to build buyers are coming into the market and building a little bit of bullish strength and now when we get the yellow line cross over the blue line the 9 crosses the 50 now we start to get some more bullish strength because our shorter time frame EMA is crossing over a higher time frame the 9 is crossing above the 50 and we start to see some bullish momentum and then the yellow line crosses above the green line. The nine day crosses above the 200 day, the longer time frame moving average. And we start to see more bullish momentum as price action continues to go in an upward direction. Once it reaches a level of resistance, then on the nine EMA, price action starts to cool off and consolidate before going bearish below the yellow line again. And we can continue following this trend and look for crossovers, bullish or bearish. An EMA is a technical indicator and it can be placed on your main chart with your price action candlesticks. It places a greater significance on the most recent price points. It's used more with short term traders because it is faster, it's exponential as opposed to the simple moving average. And you can select multiple different lengths. It helps identify bullish and bearish trends. It is a lagging indicator, and it also helps identify support and resistance areas if price action is above or below the moving average. This is an example of the exponential moving averages, the EMA from our stocks, uh, from our trading view chart. And in this particular example, we are on the GBP USD and we are on the 60 minute time frame where each individual candlestick is 60 minutes to form. We have three, we have our yellow line, which is our nine day EMA. We have our blue line, which is our 50 day EMA. And we can see when price action on the yellow line, when it crosses below the blue line, we have a bearish crossover signaling a downtrend. We have the, our lower time frame moving average EMA crossing the 50 day EMA our higher time frame which creates a bearish crossover and we can see that price action continues to go bearish until we reach a level of support where we start to see some buyers coming into the market and then we can see that the price action gets above our yellow line our 9 EMA where we start to build some bullish momentum and now it uses the blue line as a resistance 
we can see one of the candlesticks getting rejected at the blue line and price action goes bearish back to our nine day EMA where we start to build some support on there as the candlesticks start to close above it. Finally, we get a bullish crossover signaling an uptrend where our yellow line crosses above our blue line and now our nine EMA crosses above the 50 EMA, our shorter time frame moving average crosses our longer time frame and now it is the start of a bullish uptrend and it we can see price action correlate with it as price action continues to go upwards and we can use our candlestick technical analysis for entries and exits and we can also use these moving averages to help with confirmation buys or sells. So in this live example, starting from the left to the right, we can see that the price action was above the nine EMA. We had a little bit of a crossover over the blue line, but it just was short lived as price was more, more or less consolidating. Finally, when we got a nice push with those bullish candles above the yellow line and we're above the blue line, which is bullish, we're above the nine and the 50 day EMA, we start to get a breakout to the upside. We've, we reach a level of resistance where we do get some sellers in the market and they push the price down with a bearish engulfing candle and the candlesticks now close below the yellow line as they were in a downtrend it comes down and we get a, a buyers come back into the market where they take the price back up but we still have not had a bearish crossover where the yellow line crosses below the blue line so therefore we're still bullish. This is our first bearish crossover in this example. So this is the first time we see the yellow line crossing below the blue line, which is our nine day EMA crossing below the 50 day EMA. And we can start to see now red candlestick bars forming. So we're starting to get into some bearish momentum. So we start to see when we get our first crossover how price correlates to the downside and we have a bearish downtrend. Now price action is buyers are coming into the market at a level of support but you can see the wicks how they are touching the yellow line so it's acting as a resistance buyers need to get price action above the nine EMA to continue to reverse this trend and go bullish again. So they got it above it and but there was still heavy selling pressure which pushed it down below the yellow line again where price action is consolidating around this range until we get some more buying momentum come into the market to push the price up or sellers can continue to push the price down even further. Now we start to see more bullish candles, more buying volume coming into the market and price action is above the nine EMA and it's approaching the blue line, which is our 50 day EMA. Now we can see bullish price action break above the 50 EMA and we're about to get the yellow line crossing above the blue line which will continue this bullish momentum. A quick recap. The EMA, which is our exponential moving average, is a technical indicator and when we select it on our charts it will appear on our main charts with our candlesticks. It places a greater significance on the most recent price action. It's used more with short term traders because it is faster than the simple moving average. We can select multiple different lengths or periods. It helps identify bullish and bearish trends. 
It is a lagging indicator and it, and it also helps identify support and resistance areas. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the exponential moving average EMA. And in our next tutorial, we will introduce the VWAP, which is our volume weighted average price technical indicator.